Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a deep dive into the Clover Dining app and how it can help you manage your restaurant. So once you get inside the Clover Dining app, if you already set up your floor plan like we did for this customer, you'll be able to find your main dining room, secondary dining room, your main bar, patio, and any other sections you need to create in your um, system to be able to manage all of the table service at your location. Today we're going to be overviewing how to make some changes to either a brand new floor plan or an existing floor plan like what we have here. So the Clover Dining has two modes that it can be used. One of them is the server facing mode which is this what you're looking at. You'll have the ability you can change the table numbers. You, there's not a lot of modifications you can do to the floor plan. Mainly because this side of the system is meant for the servers and bartenders. So let's say for example they want to open a table. They'll be able to select the table easily, add some items into there. You'll be able to see some of the modifiers that they have. But once I'm ready, you'll have the option to fire to the kitchen and once that's done you'll be able to send the whole order to the kitchen and it will be made by the people in your kitchen now at this point my server can simply get out and they can see the tables they're managing once they're done they can go around and open another table if they need now, this is as far as the employee side goes. So there's several options that they'll have here. For example, as you could see in table 103, we place an order for a customer who went to the kitchen. And let's say, for example, the customer is ready to check out. So my server can come, tap on the table. He'll have the option to either print the entire bill or split the bill if uh, you know, when I get back to the table, the client says, hey, I want to split it two ways, three ways. Um, that kind of stuff is very easy to do in Clover Dining. So, for example, as you can see right here, we have that it says four guests. So, if I wanted to transfer items, or let's say, for example, I want to separate everything between two bills, because that's what my customer at the table is asking me to do, and they want to have two separate checks. This would be very simple, as you can see all of the items were ordered in the table. There's two ways that you can order in Clover Dining. You can order by table for the whole table, or you can order by guest. As you can see here, we have four guests, um, but for this example, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to move half the items to guest one and half the items to guest two. Because when I do this and I separate the order between guest one and guest two, the system is going to know automatically to split the bill and print separate checks. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to come here to the whole table, press the three dots, and you're going to see uh, two options, one that says move items and split item cost. Move items, you'll be able to move the items that you want to guest one, and as you can see, it easily move down. Let's say the rest of the items I want to put in guest two. And once it, that is done, you will see in your Clover, once you open the table, your server or the manager yourself or the owner, whoever is running the business right now, will now have the ability to print individual bills. So if I do that, the system automatically is gonna print two bills for me for the server to take to the table. If for whatever reason, you know, we split the bill and then the customer says, you know what, we don't want to split the bill, Mike is paying for everything, you can hit this button that says print entire bill and the system is going to give you just one bill for you to be able to take to the customer and then they can pay it. Some other options that you have when you're working in Clover Dining would be to add an order discount. 
So like for example, uh, for this demo we have a coupon of $1.50 activated. So maybe I want to give the client that. So now the client has a coupon of $1.50. Other things that I could do would be move the order. Maybe for whatever reason, the people from this order are moving to another table. So for this example, I'm gonna move the order from 103. All you have to do is select the destination or where you want the order to go. I'm gonna select 120. It's gonna ask you to confirm. And now my order, it's in 120, as you can see. And this is how you would move an order from one table to another table. Let's open the order again. Here you'll have a few other options. You'll have the ability to pay the entire bill. That would be the case if uh, somebody's just paying for everybody on the table. You have the ability to remove taxes in case you have somebody that is tax exempt that comes to the business. You'll have the ability to add a note, uh, whichever that note could be. This note could be added in the beginning of the order if you wanted to tell something to the kitchen or it could be added at the item level, or in this case, it would be added at the order level. Other options that you have here would be uh, what we already saw, print entire bill, print individual bills, pay entire bill, edit order discounts, remove taxes, move order, uh, we looked into refire to kitchen, at no, the lead order is pre pretty clear what's gonna do, right? The lead order is something that will normally be only available to managers and owners. It would not be something that we normally program available to servers. Another option that they have is uh, combine orders. So if they wanted to combine two orders between, you know, between two tables, let's say maybe it's two tables of friends and now they want to join in a bigger table, that would be the situation where you would combine the order. In order to do that, I'll have to open a, uh, a second order because I don't have it. So let me open it right here in 119. I'm gonna select a pizza, calzone, a pizza, medium, first has mushroom, second half pepperoni, and mild peppers. Um, I want extra pepperoni. And there we go. We have all the toppings that are required. I select done, I'm gonna save it. And now I have two orders for me to be able to combine. Now, this one that I opened in 119, I never sent to the kitchen. So in this scenario, I would send it to the kitchen manually. In a restaurant, we would automate it so that the kitchen printer automatically gets the order. You know, gets the order like this or the kitchen screen gets the order. Um, once I have this, I could get out. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna combine 119. I'm gonna come to the three dots, combine orders. Now I'm gonna select 120, the one that I want to combine. The system is always gonna ask you for confirmation of what you're about to do. Combine 119 with 120, press confirm, combining, and now, I have a big table at 120 with everybody's order together. From here, the same thing applies. If I was to combine an order, but now the one split it three ways, um, all of this is very easy to do and possible from the Clover station. Another option I have is transfer server. This would only be used, or it, this could be used if, for example, one of the servers wants to leave and maybe they don't want to deal with the, they, they, maybe they're sick or you know they have a family emergency and they want to leave. So for example, they could have signed it to Jose, transfer it, and, uh, and now the order belongs to somebody else. Now, this is most of the functions that you would have in Clover Dining as an employee. Now we're gonna overview the Clover Dining as an owner. So as an owner, if I press that little hamburger button, I'm gonna have an option to do modifications to the floor plan. 
So you see a, a section that says settings, edit floor plan, view all orders, take a tour. The take a tour is really if you don't know how to use it, the system automatically is going to teach you how to manage the orders and how to create the floor plan. But you most likely won't be needing this because if you buy the Clover Station from us, we will program it before it even arrives to your business. So let's dive into this. So if you want to edit the floor plan, you would click the edit floor plan. And once I'm here, I can modify, move the tables however I want. I could delete it, I could clone it, I could edit it. Let's take a look at um, what the edit allows me to do. The edit would allow me to change the table name. It would allow me to change the shape. So let's say I wanted to do a round table now. And also it would allow me to change the default seats. Let's say I wanted to do a round and it only has three chairs. I save it and now my table is round with three chairs only instead of four. Once I'm ready, I can hit here where it says take orders. And it goes back to the regular screen for employees to take orders from customers. Let's go back to Little Hamburger. I have View Floor Plan, Edit Floor Plan. So we're going to go to Edit Floor Plan one more time. So I want to show you another thing. Let's say, for example, I needed to add another section. That is something that I can do. I can do right here if I need to add another section. But let's say for example I wanted to delete a section, I can do it here too. I can move it to the right or I can delete it. Um, I could delete it. And the beauty of this also you have this section that is called bar or more. This is really the section in Clover Dining where you would manage all your bar orders and bar tabs to go delivery catering, anything that is not being managed on the table, you would actually manage and bar and more. Let's go back to the settings. Right here, if you go to where it says settings, you're gonna be able to uh, select more options. So for example, I can enable order notes. I can group identical items into one line. I could enable or disable the manual removal of taxes and fees. I could print sections on ordered receipts, or I could not. I could enable cursing. If your restaurant is using cursing, Clover now has the ability to do such a thing. Uh, for those of you that don't know what cursing is, it's a functionality very important in POS systems for restaurants where you'll be able to tell the kitchen what is an appetizer, what is a main entree, what is a dessert, um, and so on. You'll be able to set up, um, define the guest count. So the guest count could be um, defined in different ways. It could be defined by the count of guests with items, or it could be set automatically. That is normally what we do uh, with most installations. Um, you have the option here to also set up the fast bar. So the fast bar would be an option that just has a uh, the most popular items that are being sold in the bar, so that way you can access it. You can customize the menu however you want, but it's one of those things that you can turn on and off based on how much you like it. And basically that's it. That is the main functions that you can do in Clover Dining, whether as a server, a bartender, or a business owner. If you would like to learn more about Clover Dining, or even better, if you have a restaurant that you're trying to set up with Clover Dining, make sure to get in contact with us as we have special promotions for anybody that is subscribed to our videos. If you would like to watch more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave us any comments below with videos you would like to see in the future. Thank you.